Uh, did you have a chance to witness uh, that action on the floor just a while ago? Yeah, for better or worse, I was in the middle of it. <laughs> what did, uh, What was the feeling like there? Because we watched it just on television. We could we we heard the television microphones of things, but I feel like that the floor mics were really where the action was at. The yays and nays, and a little bit of vitriol between the two sides. What's the feeling like there right now? Well, I, it's actually it's probably more hyped up right now than it will be on Thursday. Uh, these type of things are procedural motions. They they come and they go. It was very clear that uh, a roll call vote, which was what our delegation requested and what Senator Lee wished for, uh, could happen if you got seven states, a majority of seven state delegates from seven states to request one. I think they had either nine or ten, and then three or four rescinded, so it was actually down to six. Just below the so line. It didn't, yeah, it didn't qualify. And then the motion that was made by a voice vote was to do a roll call anyway. And that was pretty clearly defeated. Mm -hmm. Now, what do you think about uh, Senator Lee being in the middle of all this? Is kind of the one who's making it happen. Well, he was involved in the uh, rules committee process from the beginning. So, if there is uh, if there is anyone that uh, is qualified to be involved in that, that was perfectly his right, and uh, he knew what he was doing. Do you support the efforts to derail Trump? Well, at this stage of the game. Um, you know, we are all bound to Cruz because that's the way the state voted. And until Cruz releases us, that's where the vote will be. But at this stage of the game, there also is some reality that has to fit in here. Well, explain that a little bit, because is Ted Cruz going to at some point say, hey, listen, I'm not going to relinqu relinquish my delegates? Or is he going to look at that Whether and say, look, it's too late in the game. We, we're just going to release our delegates to do what they please. I don't know. And whether he does or does not is kind of irrelevant. Trump does have the number of delegates that he needs to actually pass. And I think that procedural motion kind of illustrated it. So at this stage of the game, uh, you go forward. And, and to be honest with it, choosing Mike Pence as the vice president has done a whole lot to try and qualm people's fears and understanding. To me, it's a, it's a brilliant pick that shows that Trump is serious about governing. And he's got somebody in there that not only understands federalism, but has experience in Washington and on the state level. I think it's an excellent pick. And that, that's, that solves a lot of people's concerns big time. So we're chatting with Rob Bishop, uh, a member of Congress from Utah. Mr. Bishop, have you endorsed Donald Trump yet? Do you endorse Donald Trump? Well, like I said, officially you can't because you're still a Cruz delegate until he releases you. So, but I, well, but you, I thing. mean, you still, you still, you still can a lot. There are a lot of Cruz delegates that have endorsed Trump. Well, and it will be because if, if for no other reason, the alternative is unacceptable. I know what a President Clinton administration would be like, and that just is is unacceptable. Why do you think people are so hesitant to just outright endorse Trump? Trump is a different kind of candidate. It's a new candidate that's been there. Um, I think. I think people in Utah felt more comfortable with us. I mean, that, let's face it, the first person I endorsed was Rubio. And then uh, I was elected as a Cruz delegate. So I guess I'm over for two. If, if Trump was really serious, he'd probably want me to endorse Hillary Clinton with my track record. <laughs> so what is, it that's, what is it that's keeping you from endorsing Donald Trump? Just formality. Mm. Just that you're a Cruz delegate? Yeah. So once it... Votes taken. Then, yeah. Until that vote's taken, then I will clearly be there. And yeah. then, and then you'll be, you'll have endorsed Trump. Uh, uh, Representative uh, Rob Bishop with us on uh, the J Mac News Show as we wrap things up here. Uh, Representative, as we uh, go along here, one of the things you mentioned too was, well, maybe this is this might be more action than we're even going to see on Thursday. But what does the rest of the week look like for you as part of the Utah delegation, and 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 where are the most kind of the points that you look forward to the most this week, and what what are the most important parts of the week? Well, the speeches this, this week are pretty good. I mean, today we're talking about uh, the nation's security, kind of a, a, a significant subject for me. Uh, Tuesday, a lot of legislative leadership will be speaking, so my friends will be up there. On Wednesday, it'll be Mike Pence's day to shine, and then on Thursday will be the Trump nomination. That culminates it. So, uh, but on the on the issue of Trump, and we've just got another minute here with you. We really appreciate your time. Uh, I... Why? What is it that'll be different in a week or so from now, rather than today? In a week or so, you'll be able to confidently recommend to the people in your district that they vote for Donald Trump. Why is it that yeah. you really can't do that today? 
It's just because the commitment I made to be a cruise delegate actually would make me feel very uncomfortable doing that. But once that commitment's over, then obviously you take the next pick. I, like I say, it's an endorsement doesn't mean a heck of a lot. It's one of those formalities. I haven't officially taken that formality step, but I will. But but why all the hemming and hawing? I mean, why aren't people like you getting enthusiastically behind Donald Trump? Uh, look, it, it's it's the time and place when you're elected and committed to cruise. Then you have to wait until you officially do that. Just for the just for the the, the sake of it, I was elected by Utahns to actually support uh, cruise. That's what I have to do. When that is over and Donald Trump is elected, my choice will be Clinton or Trump. That's no question right there. All right. I know that the Clinton administration would be terrible. At least with Donald Trump, you got a pretty good chance, especially with Mike Pence there on the ticket. All right. He's uh, Representative uh, Rob Bishop of our great state of Utah here. Representative, thanks for being with us. We know you have a tight schedule, so thanks for taking some time with us today. Yeah, thank you. Nice to talk to you.